Egypt has a new leader. Adli Mansour has been sworn in as the country's interim president, just a day after the military ousted Mohamed Morsi from office. Morsi was in power for only a year. Now he's under house arrest. Military officials say Egyptians will have fair elections as soon as possible. Here at home, two high-profile conservatives have made announcements about their political futures. Marjorie Le Breton says she's resigning as the government's Senate leader, but will remain in the Tory caucus. And veteran Calgary MP Diana Blonsi says she won't run in the next election in 2015. The self-proclaimed greatest show on earth must go on. The Calgary Stampede officially starts tomorrow, despite heavy flooding that ravaged the area two weeks ago. Tonight, the Stampede grounds will be open for a sneak peek where the public can get an advanced look at the attractions. And this afternoon, Calgary announced it's no longer in a state of emergency. And one of America's most iconic monuments has reopened just in time for Independence Day. The Statue of Liberty is welcoming visitors again for the first time since Superstorm Sandy hit last October. The statue itself wasn't damaged, but the tiny island it sits on was flooded. Three and a half million people visit the monument every year.